I'm Adrian Gobriel. We're here at Union Station. Today I arrived here with the Minister of Transportation. We hopped on board the GO train with him. We also took the subway as he made his morning commute into work. Now all weekend long, we were asking for your questions for the Minister Stephen Del Duca. Earlier at 5 and 6, you heard some of his answers pertaining to traffic, gridlock on our roads, also some of the concerns for those riding the GO train. Well, today we also grilled him on the TTC as we jumped on the subway, and we asked him about his thoughts on the Tories' promise, the provincial concern Conservatives promise, should they be elected, that they will upload the subway to their portfolio and, making, and make building subways in Toronto a priority. I would say um, that the last thing the people that you see here on this platform today want is governments to get into a, a prolonged process and governance discussion around who owns what and who's responsible for what between the province and the municipalities. What these commuters really desperately need and deserve is more building and more transit and more options so they can leave their cars at home and have that affordable, accessible, reliable uh, system that's working for them. So that's what we're focused on. We're What's more important for you as a priority? Building a downtown relief line or building the subway further north? Uh, so I would say there's no doubt that both are incredibly important for this entire region. Uh, and not just those. There are other projects that are in the mix as well that are being discussed. We have to get beyond this notion that there's somehow a difference between gridlock and the 416 and the 905, or the 519 and the 519 and the 705. Gridlock is a, it's a regional issue. It doesn't respect municipal boundaries or postal codes or area codes. So, so we can say which one you think is a priority? I, I, I think they're both priorities, and, it, they're, and that's on an exhaustive list. I think the list literally keeps going. Well, currently, during peak hours, during rush hour, Bloor St. George Station, for example, is at maximum capacity. Yes. If we have more people coming from Vaughan, where are they going to go? Well, right now we have to remember there are about 50,000, that's 5 0, 50,000 students, faculty, and staff that already go to York University pretty much every single day of the week. And let's not forget that York, kind of, York University is kind of the anchor on the Line 1 extension that we're going to see. There's no doubt that we have capacity issues in the existing network within the City of Toronto. It's why we're going to be doubling, or more than doubling, quadrupling the GO train service coming in uh, into, the, into the 416 from the 905, but also adding more stations in the 416. So Toronto commuters have other options. Hopping on a GO train or an RER slash smart track train at a station in the city of Toronto and heading down to Union at a fraction of the time for roughly the same cost. A lot of those discussions still taking place for roughly the same cost means that those commuters will have that many more options. And again, that's not 20 years away. That's not 30 years away. That's over the next couple of years. And we spent well over an hour with Minister Del Duca this morning on the GO train and on the subway to see more from our interviews and to hear more responses to your questions as well as to see some behind-the-scenes footage and more in our City Commuter Series. Just head to our website, citynews.ca.